So I've told you guys what I hate about this car. Now I'm gonna talk about what I love about this car. And there are quite a few things that I love about this car. First, starting with perhaps the most obvious thing, um, the engine under that huge hood. Um, the five liter Coyote motor. Um, it's an absolute gem of a motor, as I said in the review. You know, aside from the fact that it uh, has so much torque and so much horsepower, is the actual power delivery. So the Coyote motor loves to rev. There's a decent amount of power uh, beneath 3,000 RPM, but above 4,000 RPM is where it really starts to kick in, and it's a lot of fun, especially with the manual transmission. So the first thing that I love about this car is the engine. Now, the second thing that I love about this car, and this is you know, a close tie uh, with the engine, is the way this car looks. Now, I love how Ford designed this car, how the whole package came together. You know, with the front um, end, it's got the tri-bar details and the headlights makes it look super aggressive. It's also got the fangs and the grill right here and there. And it's also got, you know, a decent uh, size splitter as well. And the hood looks really aggressive as well with, you know, all the creases, the bulge and all the vents and stuff as well. So the front end looks amazing. The profile of the car is also amazing with, you know, the long hood and the fastback roof line really looks beautiful, but it's aggressive at the same time with the side sills and everything. And the rear end might be my favorite part of the car. It's a huge rear end, it's really wide. It's got really big uh, side haunches and uh, the, I love the tri-bar taillights as well. And just the overall shape, how it all comes together looks amazing. And in all my years of being a car enthusiast, um, this is one of the few cars that I can say I like from every single angle. So um, really love the way this car looks. But the third thing that I love are the brakes. and. Um, they are probably the most confidence inspiring part of the car. This performance package comes with the uh, six piston Brembo brakes on the front with the 15 inch uh, rotors and they are more than enough for daily driving. Um, they're absolutely excellent, inspire a lot of confidence and uh, the brake pedal feel is awesome. So the next thing that I love about this car is the tech. Now I'm just gonna go over it quickly because there's a lot of tech that's available or standard. So the standard tech is the keyless go and entry and the reverse camera, which is amazing because a lot of German manufacturers don't provide that as standard on their cars and Ford does on all of the Mustangs. So I think that's absolutely awesome. The reverse camera is really helpful. It's a really nice reverse camera and the keyless entry system is really nice as well. Some optional tech is adaptive cruise control, probably the most useless of all the tech that's available. But if you do a lot of highway miles, it's nice because you don't have to constantly adjust the speed that your cruise control is set at. It will just track the car in front of you. Um, and it's a pretty intelligent system. I've used it a little bit here and there and uh, it works pretty well. Now my favorite part, um, which comes with the 401A package, is the Bliss system. Now the Bliss system uh, is comprised of the blind spot, blind spot alert and uh, also the cross traffic alert. So blind spot monitoring is pretty self-explanatory. But the cross traffic alert is uh, a really cool feature. So when you're backing out of a parking spot, there's sensors on the rear that basically detect if a car is coming from the right or from the left and it alerts you by playing a really uh, uh, loud beeping sound and also telling you in the little information display um, which direction the car is coming from. So that's really helpful and it's a really nice safety feature. There's also some other features. There's um, you know reverse sensors. Those aren't super necessary if you have a reverse camera but they still are nice to have though. So there's a lot of tech available on this car. It really makes it, I feel like, a modern day car that can compete with German cars in the tech department. The next thing that I love about this car are all the minor details now. Some of them are sort of gimmicky, but you know, I think the small details in the car matter. So beginning with the pony projection lamps, but well, the pony projection lamps basically project the Mustang pony uh, symbol um, from the side view mirrors uh, onto the ground when you're unlocking the car at night so that looks really cool the LED lighting on the inside of the car um, is really nice as well you can change the colors you can change the color of the gauges as well so that's really nice as well the information cluster or the information display between uh, the speedo and the tack is really nice as well all the track apps gives you an accelerometer 
zero to 60, zero to 100 timer. It gives you braking timer, the line lock, launch control, it gives you a bunch of things which are really cool. And you might not use them on an everyday basis, but it's just cool to have. So all the small details and the features that Ford has included on the car uh, just make it that much more special. And I, you know, there might not, they might not be the most important features in the car, but they do make uh, owning the car uh, a much more fun experience. So I really like that about the car. So those are all the things that I love about the car. I hope you guys enjoyed the video as always, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.